Hey everybody, my name is John Ecker and I'm giving away a 3D printer. This 3D printer actually. This is the RepRap Pro Mendel 3D printer. It is a self-replicating 3D printer and I am building it and documenting that build and giving it away via YouTube. Okay, so the progress of the build. Uh, last time I, just, I had a video up, the, the bread wasn't on yet. I just had the carriage down here at the bottom. Uh, I actually did mount the LC, or excuse me, the, the heated bed. Uh, I'll throw some pictures of, the, of it up there. It's on there. I don't like the way I wired it. I'm not really great at soldering, so I'm going to go back and try to clean that up a little bit. Uh, but everything else is on. All I have done the extruder. This is the extruder for this machine. It's all self 3D printed on my own mosaic over here. That one. But it looks really good. Only took about 20 minutes to throw together. It's the same technology we've been using in RepRap for years. All I have left on this build is to build the extruder and to wire everything up. Uh, those two things kind of required some special equipment and some special knowledge. So I'm taking it slow. I'm making sure I understand what I'm doing first. I had to go out and pick up a vintage vise, uh, a blowtorch just to build the extruder nozzle, which are tools unfamiliar to me. So I'm going to take it nice and slow, make sure I do things right rather than just rush into it and make, make mistakes. So I think I'm maybe one or two weeks out from finishing this up. But it doesn't mean it'll be ready within one or two weeks. It just means that it'll be, the build will be done. And then I'll go into all the software calibration and stuff like that. Kind of a new development with this is that I have discovered a LCD touchscreen controller panel that will work with this electronics. And the, uh, the way I discovered it was Thingiverse. I saw this case for this screen or the older version of the screen. And I went out and scooped one of these up. The newer version doesn't fit the older version case. So I made my own case. And then somebody went back and fixed my case and did another version of my case. So now there's three different versions for this kind of controller that will just be announced right here. It's touchscreen. It looks awesome. So since I was gone for so long, I want you to do two challenges this week to kind of make up for time. Uh, the first one will be to design and upload a 3D model to the website of your choice, most likely Thingiverse. The second thing I want you to do is to find and become a member or interested in your local hacker space if you don't have one. Start your own. Start your own 3D printer uh, club. You'll need some support at some point during your project, even if you get an assembled 3D printer. And it's always good to have people out there that can help you. So that's this week's two challenges. Please submit them, and I will look forward to those videos.